liked Fenty skin, but Fenty skin didn't like my skin. Fenty skin didn't like me. So. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis. If you are new here, welcome and thank you for clicking on this video. Today I will be talking about Fenty skin. If you have not checked out my first video, definitely check that out. I'll leave that link down below in the description box or on a card somewhere on the screen. But basically I tried out Fenty skin and I'm here to tell you the tea. Before watching this video, make sure you check out my first video just so you have a little bit of background to where I'm coming from as I talk about my experiences and my own opinions about Fenty skin. Just a disclaimer, these are my honest opinions. If you guys are interested to know the full honest truth about Fenty skin, keep on watching. So, first of all, pardon the bad manicure. So Rihanna's first launch consisted of three products the total cleanser and makeup remover the fat water toner and serum and then we also have the hydro visor which is a moisturizer and a spf in one these three products are essentially supposed to cut down and reduce the long tedious skincare routine and all of her products are two in one so essentially you're doing six steps in one with three products so the total cleanser for my first video you guys know already how i talked about the packaging i love the packaging of all of the products they were just sleek they were just chic i loved the packaging i loved the aesthetic of them it was very cute but the total cleanser i like the total cleanser it does have a scent which does not bother me i wasn't turned off about the scent like that wasn't a concern to me however in my first video if you saw it did not remove my waterproof mascara it does not claim to remove waterproof makeup but it does say makeup remover in one remove it all i also didn't want to like dig it into my eyes like that but like i would graze it over my waterproof mascara i didn't want to like od and like scrub it in my eye but it did not remove my waterproof mascara it did remove makeup on my light days and heavier days i always go in with a micellar cleansing water and make sure to get off everything because a cleanser is just not gonna fully 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 get off all your makeup I personally feel like you have to use a micellar cleansing water to make sure that everything is removed and you have a clean base. If you guys watched my first video, you would know that I mentioned how I was going to use these three products for 30 days because I felt like 30 days or basically a month was a substantial amount of time to kind of get an idea of how my skin will react to these products and a lot of people think skincare is just like you wake up the next day and you're supposed to see results i mean that's very rare but honestly that's not really what happens because skincare takes time to work when you're working with skincare products you have to be patient i'm a very impatient person so for me to be patient it's hard i know but when you guys start to see results it makes you so happy that you know that it's just like wow like i see change in my skin things are clearing up you know the grass may be green on the other side so it's a process i had good things to say about the total cleanser it did not dry my skin it removed my makeup it did what it had to do it hydrated my face things were fine i had no complaints about this so initially i really liked the fat water however the fat water she was problematic i was so excited about this fat toner but honestly I think she did some damage to me. You know when you get too excited about things and then it just don't go as expected? This is what the fat toner did to me. In my opinion, I didn't realize this had witch hazel until maybe I was reading the ingredients while I was doing this review or like a day before I was doing a review. I have not had good experience with witch hazel. That Thayer's or Thayer's witch hazel that everyone goes crazy about. No, I broke out bad from that witch hazel toner. Like, I never wanted to touch witch hazel ever again after that. I don't know why my skin reacted so poorly to that. And at that, it was a peach. I tried to be cute and get the peach witch hazel. I don't know if that was the issue because it was like a fragrance scented type toner. But I've used peach toners in the past before. I'm not sure if it was made of witch hazel, but I used the Korean one in the past. And it was fine for my skin. But the witch hazel from Thayer's, Thayer's, whatever, don't care about it because I'm not using it again. I broke out bad. I had bumps all over my face. I just had a bad reaction to witch hazel. So when I seen there was witch hazel in this, I was about to flip. I was just like, hell no. I am not like 
I'm about to break out. Like, it's about to be bad. And honestly, I broke out. I felt like my pores felt a little tightened when I used this, and that's a good thing. It's a pore refining toner, but witch hazel was not my best friend and witch hazel is actually the second ingredient on this so it's higher in the list of ingredients so that means there's more there's more witch hazel in this but then again i also like the ule henriksen glow to o toner that's probably my favorite toner love that toner that toner also had witch hazel in it but i don't think the witch hazel was that high in the ingredient list i believe it was like the third or maybe fourth ingredient i need to get another one because i broke out and i got dark spots now like so the first day that i was using this product it was all good my skin was moisturized i really loved how my skin felt it felt like i did a facial it felt like i did a mask everything was so soft supple and hydrated i really loved how my skin felt however on the second or third day i felt like my skin was doing something a bit weird um in this area on my jawline there was more texture there i wouldn't say it was like pimple pimples but it was like it was texture it was texture that was not there the previous day before i started using fenty so i'm like okay why is my skin doing that and you know we're in a pandemic right now i'm like maybe it's the mask that i'm wearing right because you know i actually do wear masks and i care about the well-being of other people and this planet unlike other people so the mask would essentially you know cover your mouth so I'm like, okay, so that's probably why I was breaking out here because I had the mask on. That's still a theory that I have today. I really don't know what broke me out. But I was just like, this had witch hazel in it. I reacted poorly to witch hazel in the past. Let me not use this witch hazel. So I took out the witch hazel and I kind of documented some things along the way. So I started using Fenty on August 2nd. Mind you, I also got my cycle that day. So August 2nd, I had my cycle and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna still do this video because I work full time and I don't always have, I don't always have the leisure time to film when I want to film. So I'm like, no, I'm gonna get this video out. Like I wanted to get it out as soon as possible. So I still proceeded with filming the video. I stopped using the toner on August 4th. So I waited, so I used the toner for two days and then I stopped using it on the 4th. Maybe it's the toner, let me stop using the toner. So I stopped using the toner on the 4th and then my skin was doing fine. I didn't see any more additional irritation to my skin. So I'm just like, okay, like, let me try this toner one more time. So I tried the toner again on the 6th. So I stopped using the toner August 4th and then August 6th I tried the toner again because I gave my skin like a one day break just to see if the texture was still progressing. So the second time I used the toner everything was fine like everything was going well. My skin was glowing. I'll try to insert some pictures. My skin was glowing. Besides this one big breakout I had I'm gonna show you in the picture as well. These pictures are very raw. Don't judge me. I'm being very transparent with y'all but basically I had this one pimple but I think this pimple was different from like the rest of the texture that was on my skin this was more of a hormonal breakout sometimes on my cycle I do get like those large pimples like around my mouth area sometimes I'll get them in other areas of my face but this is more of a hormonal breakout everything else was like textured in the beginning when I was using Fenty um it was just very textured around this area and it was it was different from this one so I I figured like the two separate things that was probably my cycle this was probably from maybe the witch toner after the sixth my skin was glowing it was glistening the SPF worked so well I really liked how it hydrated my skin and it left a natural glow it made me look alive in the morning it made me look fresh the I use these products every single day and I made sure I used them so on August 17th now I broke out I was just like it's clear to me now that I'm breaking out so not only did I have like texture along this area I also had well I still have it right now um there was texture on my forehead I don't know if you guys could see I don't know if you guys could see this but let me see so there is there is texture on my forehead I have oily acne prone skin I have texture I have dark marks that's all normal but I know my skin well enough where I know something is going wrong. So there was a bunch of breakouts on my forehead. Like a bunch of tiny breakouts. There's still a bunch of tiny breakouts right now. And some of them had white fluid in it. And they were poppable. But honestly, it was like those annoying really tiny bumps that were just 
very persistent and they would not go away they were oh my god these pimples these pimples reminded me of like times where i was like in elementary school when i was in like the fifth grade or even middle school because yes i did have acne in elementary school towards the end of my years i had acne from a very very young age so your girl's been through it like i've had acne forever to be honest for the most part now i don't really suffer too much from acne it's more of the scars and like the texture but i'm gonna kind of zoom you guys in so maybe you can see what i'm talking about i have a bunch of texture right here so you see that that texture right there bunch of texture on the forehead breaking out so i'm like i don't wear my mask on my forehead why am i breaking out at this point i'm using all three products before it was working fine now all of these three products i'm utilizing and my skin is freaking out my forehead is freaking out this area is freaking out it's still freaking out it was worse before but now it's like cooling down because i completely stopped using fenty beauty at this point i was like nah you gotta go the door is over there the only thing i have on right now is mascara brows and a little bit of primer but oh my gosh like these dark spots were not here before if you looked at my last video this mark was not here like these little dark marks were not here my skin was doing pretty good at that point but now miss riri um sis i want my coins back like i'm sorry i already suffered a lot from acne so i am not gonna put myself through that pain and suffering just to prove a point because the point have been made okay my skin doesn't like these products like all right let me listen to my skin as you guys can tell i had breakouts here and mind you it was worse than this but i'm still suffering from like the marks like there was like three pimples right here like you could see there was marks there and then obviously i had some discoloration before but it wasn't this bad it really wasn't this bad yeah and then it was on my neck too i forgot yo it was like creeping down to like this region of my neck and you know i washed my face so i washed my neck too and i mean i would hope everyone washed their neck because you know if you apply makeup down there then you should remove that all um, so I was using the toner on my neck. I was mo I was moisturizing my neck, putting an SPF on. I was annoyed. So yeah, this is pretty much my skin. My forehead was really going through it. I already have a big forehead, so why would I need additives? Like I didn't ask for that. You know what I'm saying? No concealer on because I just wanted you guys to see the raw results of using Fenty Skin. And this is pretty much how my skin is looking post one month although i did stop using fenty i don't think my pores got smaller at all like i would know if my pores got smaller like come on but everything else like everything else was just a wreck ruined this is my bread and butter like what am i supposed to do i attempted to do the 30 days like i planned to but i was not gonna put myself through that also i wanted to know if my skin was gonna stop reacting the way it was reacting because my skin was freaking out so after the 17th of august yeah so august 17th i stopped so basically i used the product for over two weeks and i gave it up after i stopped using fenty i was just like all right let's see how my skin is doing now my skin was doing okay after i stopped using fenty but i still noticed a lot of texture was still on my skin um, some days it looked really bad some days it was just okay it didn't revert back to my original skin before using Fenty but it was decent it was doing okay now it's just off and on like I said I don't know if it was mask that I was wearing I don't know if it was the witch hazel or maybe another ingredient in Fenty I don't know if it was the grade of the ingredients she said she used like great high quality products that were also affordable so could have been corona because at this point i'm blaming everything on corona because it's just messing everybody's life up right now it was just too many factors that could have been contributing to my skin i'd say maybe two weeks ago maybe a little bit over two weeks ago two people actually told me that they were breaking out from fenty skin 
well they didn't know if it was fenty skin but they were breaking out and the only thing that really changed was they started using fenty skin their skin is breaking out they also have sensitive skin i have sensitive skin one of the people who actually told me had very clear skin so i'm pretty sure she can tell when something really drastic happens another person who told me her skin acne prone like myself but she was getting like large pimples they were larger than mine she was breaking out as well she was also going through it like myself but her acne just varied from mine i'm not sure if she broke out on her forehead but she sent me a picture and they were actually like on her cheek area so acne is not cute so if anything is breaking me out it gotta go i don't need that in my life nobody likes acne acne ruins self-esteem i know firsthand from a very young age how acne can affect your self-esteem and just affect you as a person growing up it doesn't sound like that serious and that deep but honestly it is depending on the grade of your acne and which areas you had acne in it could really be detrimental at this point i'm like yeah something's going wrong with fenty i also seen estheticians on twitter talking about how fenty skin was not affecting their skin in a positive way it reacted to their skin a lot of people didn't like the fragrance in it i personally never experienced any issues with fragrance however now i'm thinking it could have been the environmental factors it could have been corona like i said could have been my mask my diet did not change i was pretty much eating whatever i was eating before i cleaned my phone i cleaned my pillowcases my hands are pretty much clean i don't really touch my forehead like that i was thinking like is it a new shampoo i'm using but like then the shampoo would have affected my body and and I wasn't breaking out anywhere else it was just my face I honestly think Fenty disrupted my skin's barrier because since I've started using Fenty a lot of things just went wrong a lot of things were just not common in my skin so like I said I did not complete the full 30 days maybe if I used it longer who knows my skin could have improved I honestly think it was Fenty that contributed to what was going on in my skin unfortunately I will not be picking up these products again until until I see enough research on the internet until I see I want to use some of her products in the future if it's like a eye cream or a sheet mask or any other skincare products I'll be open to trying but I don't think I'll be first to order it I would probably do more research on the internet I would probably want to see other people's reviews before I go buying this skincare as soon as it dropped because I bought this, I had signed up for the newsletter and I got like early access, but I don't think I would be that quick to buy Fenty Skin again, unless it's something that I really, really, really want. Please keep in mind that a lot of people have had positive experiences with Fenty Skin, that their skin was glowing, it was changing. Some people really love and adore Fenty Skin and that's perfectly okay. I really wanted to love Fenty Skin and I really did have a great experience initially trying on the products, but this is why it's important not to always pick up things and do your research. Skincare and skin in general is tricky because everyone have different skin. Everyone have different textures, diff there's skin allergies. Also, please make sure you are testing out skincare products and makeup products on the back of your hand or any area other than your face because you just wanna know if you're allergic to any products and see how your skin reacts. So do a skin patch test to just see how your skin would react to these products. But yeah, everyone have different skin. The Fenty Skin initial review that I made did really well and I hope it still continues to do well after I post this video. I actually had comments from viewers that were saying that they loved the total cleanser. I've had a subscriber said that like her skin glows. Her favorite product is a cleanser because she have combo skin. Shout out to Paige Summers. Paige Summers, if you're watching this, thank you so much for your comment. I really love that feedback. So she was basically saying how the moisturizer make everyone's skin glow, which it did. It really added a nice glow. And her favorite product was the cleanser. And I I did enjoy the cleanser she had combo skin and dark marks so she was really intrigued to see how the products will work for us unfortunately it did not work for me hopefully for you you had better results one thing I can say is that I felt like my forehead was substantially darker from the rest of my face I mean my forehead is still darker than the rest of my face a tad bit but I felt like it evened out my forehead in a weird way I don't know like 
can you guys tell do you guys see a difference or is it just me i feel like it even out my complexion my dark marks not too sure about that but i feel like my forehead i think my forehead region is more similar to my face area right here i don't know if i'm bugging or not but age i hope you had a better experience than i had then i had another viewer this person name is reserve chick hey reserve chick so reserve chick have been using fenty skin since last Thursday so this was three weeks ago and she absolutely loved all the products and had no allergic reaction she also mentioned that she had faith in Rihanna that she wouldn't just slap on her name to anything and she had faith in her products and I definitely agree I think everything Rihanna touches is gold I just think she's so creative and innovative and she really cares about her target audience she cares about everyone and anyone who purchased her product so also the marketing for Fenty Fenty skin Fenty beauty Fenty in general unmatched but yeah she is very caring about the environment the SPF was coral reef friendly and I do love that and reserve chick also said to do a patch test which I mentioned which is really important because if you're new to trying Fenty skin and you haven't tried it out yet and you're afraid that your skin is gonna cause a reaction definitely do that but I also feel like your skin from your wrist may be different from your face because your face is probably more sensitive so maybe your neck region or just be cautious when you're trying fenty skin i don't want you guys to have bad experiences as well but it's just that just comes along with fenty skin that just comes along with skincare in general it's not something that fenty skin is just like oh her products are bad point period no there's a lot of bad skincare products out there I'm not gonna name some, but there's some bad products out there that made my skin just look crazy. If I did read your comment, let me know down below. If, if you had negative experiences with Fenty Skin, I wanna hear your experience, let me know down below. If you had positive things about Fenty Skin, let me know. I just wanted to love the product so bad. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I was not here for Fenty Skin. I liked Fenty Skin, but Fenty Skin didn't like my skin. Fenty Skin didn't like me, so i will be returning these products because i just want my money back it was like 75 dollars so one thing about me is i'm gonna return those products <laughs> i'm sorry like i know there's a lot of people who are shy and afraid to return products makeup products skincare products whatever it's a it said 30 days or get your money back and guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get my money back why should i have this product just chilling on my makeup counter for me not to use when i can get my 75 dollars back and use for something else Please return those products sis i don't know why you're still keeping them but i'm telling you right now return those products in sephora even if it's past like the 30 or 60 days to return for your money back i'm getting my store credit money don't grow on trees i'm getting my coins back because what i know the process for returning things is annoying and a lot of people don't like returning items but you want to be broke or you want to have money that's the real question but yeah that's my verdict on fenty skin that is my final final review on fenty skin let me know what your guys thoughts are in the comments down below about what i said about this video and remember these are my own personal experiences and opinions about fenty skin who knows maybe it wasn't fenty skin that disrupted my skin barrier I don't know. That's my hypothesis about Fenty Skin. Basically, disrupted my skin's balance. It ruined the pH. It did something. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video if you want to see more skincare products or if you want to see makeup products. Right now, I'm just focused on rehabilitating my skin, drinking plenty of water, using products that I know will actually help my skin. No fragrance no crazy ingredients i've been using the inky list beta hydroxy acid which is basically bhas bhas help penetrate into your skin and improve the texture improve any it improves discoloration exfoliates the skin just to help new skin grow drink your water wear sunscreen if your skin doesn't like fragrance don't use it i hope this video was helpful to you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see y'all in the next one Bye.